Welcome to the Board Game Bar. What can I make for you today? We have Mind Management, a brand new game by Off The Page. Uh, and it's a game where you're playing psychic espionage agents. Someone has to, a recruiter has to navigate around the city but not be seen. It's a hidden movement game where others are trying to chase them down. And they have to use their psychic abilities to kind of evade their, their pursuers. So we need something that's gonna boost their mental abilities. So what comes to mind? You're strong. All right, so there is a drink called the Mind Probe, but it's actually quite a heavy and full-on drink. So we're actually gonna modify the Mind Probe to make the Mind Control. So let's jump into it. All right, so to start, we're gonna add one shot of pineapple juice. Then we're gonna go with three quarters of gin, three quarters of tequila, three quarters of spiced rum, three quarters of a shot of triple sec, 15 ml of lemon juice, and 15 ml of aquafaba. You could use egg white, but we prefer to use aquafaba and then make some nice chickpea snacks. From there, we're gonna grab our ice, pour it over and shake that up. And then we're gonna choose a nice glass. We have a nice fancy one here. It's going with that nice spy mind management kind of theme. We also double strain this drink. We don't want any extra ice shards that we need. This wouldn't be a spy game if we didn't sneak something in as well. So we'll add a few drops of Angostura bitters on top just to give it that little bit of color. And there we have the mind control. The mind control. So this has got a little bit of tequila in it. I think it was a, was it a Reposado tequila? Yeah, so that's a Reposado tequila. You can use, um, I'll probably steer away from the silver tequilas. Yep. Um, some of the darker tequilas probably will work better in there. Um, you could try some Mezcal, but the flavors would be a lot stronger. Yep. Um, you have to remember that the there's a lot of alcohol in there. So um, those alcohol flavors could overwhelm each other. So choosing the right alcohol or right brands to go with is important. So cheers. So straight away you can tell that's a smoky tequila. Yeah. You can you get that that smokiness to it. So it actually it tastes like like barbecued pineapple. You know, the, the pineapples that you chuck on the barbecue and char them. Um, that's what it tastes like. It's got a really beautiful, sweet smokiness um, where every single ingredient comes through. You can taste the triple sec. You can taste the pineapple. You can taste the tequila. You can taste the gin. Everything comes through, um, and that bitters hasn't hit the hit the the drink yet. But I know for sure when it does, that'll give it a, a nice little kick too. So um, yeah, awesome drink, beautiful. Yeah. So I think within that drink as well, it's it's you know we changed it from the mind pro the original drink because it did have a lot more flavors in there. It had two different types of uh, tequila. It had two different types of rum, uh, as well as the gin, triple sec, uh, and everything else. Um, and what we found is it's a very noisy drink, like a very, very noisy drink. So what we did is kind of pair it back and say, well, what are the, the main key elements here? Um, and it's it's a, you know, it's a fancier cocktail um, with the, the fizz on top. Uh, which is quite a bit different to a normal drink that you would expect to have that amount of alcohol, like the uh, New York. No, what's the long? Oh, oh like the Long Island, like the Long Island. I can't even say it. <laughs> like the Long Island iced tea. But this is kind of pairing that back and bringing it into one a more uh, palatable drink, um, one that I think everyone will enjoy around the table, but also something that's going to be something uh, you can make quite easily. You, you don't need to try and create a whole bar. Um, to, to, to drink this. Now it does have more alcohol than we normally would put in a drink. Um, I think only one alcohol is, one drink has more alcohol and that's the Faust Kush for canvas. Um, most other, we try and stick to two or three um, different alcohol brands.
The other thing you could taste as well is the spiced rum. It's got that vanilla finish to it. So I think the aquafaba, and yeah, you can use egg white here. Um, it'll give you the same sort of texture on the top, that foaminess on the top, but it's got that real nice vanilla finish to it. And I'd, I would garnish this with a, if you can get a dried pineapple or, uh, or even just get a, um, a charred bit of pineapple and, and put that on a skewer or a maraschino cherry or something like that, that would absolutely go beautifully as a garnish in this serve. So, um, yeah, I love that. Mind control for mind management. Beautiful. So that is the mind control for mind management. We make many other drinks for board games, so make sure you check out our channel. We also stream live on Twitch, and those videos are added to our Games Night app YouTube channel. So check us out on Twitch and YouTube there. We also have the Games Night app, app.gamesnight.fun. So check us out there and give us some love on that as well. Make sure to make this drink anytime you play Mind Management. Thanks for joining us in this video, and we'll love to see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is an espionage. Why like spike this thing? And then you just put your finger in, <laughs> and then drop it. <laughs>